Marine Collie, King's of England. In blue, Bruce Temmel, Cradley and United States. In white, Edward Yankart, Wimbledon and Poland. And in yellow, Hans Nielsen of Wolverhampton and Denmark. And in for the league goes Michael Lee, last year's winner. Lee, and on the outside, Hans Nielsen in the striped helmet. And coming between them in blue, Bruce Temmel of the United States. But at the moment, it's Michael Lee in first place. In second place, it's Nielsen. In third place, it's... Bruce Tenhall and Edward Jankartz, the Wimbledon rider of Poland, is bringing up the rear. And Michael Lee looking very comfortable indeed. In this, the first heat of the evening. Now established a good lead over Nielsen of Denmark. Rides for Wolves. In third place, it's Bruce Tenhall. And in fourth place, Edward Jankartz. And it's Nilsson making a desperate bid as they come into this next bend. But it's still Michael Lee holding him off. Very close indeed. Lee gets three points. Nilsson gets two. And Pennell gets one. A good win for Michael Lee. This is heat number two. In red, we've got Rudy Woods of Wimbledon and Holland. In blue, Dave Jessup, Kingsley in England. In white, Zinnan Kleck, Hackney of Poland. And in yellow, Gordon Kennett. And it's Dave Jessup who came out of that gate very fast indeed, who takes the lead, followed by Gordon Kennett of Eastbourne in England. Zinnan Fleck, who was runner-up in the World uh, Individual Championship in 1979, at this moment in the white helmet, is lying at the back. But out in front there, it's Dave Jessup of King's Link. In second place, it's Gordon Kennett. In third place, it's Fleck. And in fourth place, it's Rudy Mutz of Wimbledon riding on his home track. Dave Jessup is looking very comfortable indeed. Still being challenged by Gordon Kennett. And these two now have moved away from Zenon Peck and Rudy Mutz. And Dave Jessup. Kingsley and England are used to ride for Eastport Eagles. Way, way out in front and not under any pressure at all. So it's Dave Jessup comes up to get the flag. He's first. In the second place, it's Kennett. In third place, it's Zenon Fleck. Heat number four in red, Scott Autry. Blue, Billy Sanders. White, Peter Collins. Yellow, Chris Morton. And Scott Autry, Swindon of the United States, captain of the United States of the current Test Series. And Scott Autry's got a super start. Hanging uh, close to the curve on the outside, Chris Morton have come in very fast. In third place, it's Peter Collins of Bellevue in England, who won this event in 74 and 78. And Collins, of course, the last Englishman to win the world title. That was back in 76. But at the moment, it's Scott Autry out in front. Chris Morton in second place. These two battling for the lead. Autry holding off Chris Morton. Teammate of Peter Collins, rides for Bellevue in the England World Team Cup team. Collins in third place, Sanders in fourth place, but these two, wheel to wheel as they come into this bend. And Morton went very wide. Morton now just in front. Autry in second place, and marvellous riding there by Chris Morton of Bellevue in England. Morton now established a fine lead, and he takes the flag. Morton is first, second is Autry, third is Colin. Great riding by Morton. Heat number five. Morton again in red. Michael Lee in blue. Rudy Woods in white. And Kai near me, the thin, in the yellow striped helmet. And it's the thin Kai near me who's out in front. Rides for Eastbourne, Eagles and Finland. In second place at the moment, Chris Morton, the Bellevue rider, who scored a maximum on that first ride. In third place in blue, it's Michael Lee, the Kingsley and England rider, and last year's winner in them. But the Fen looking very comfortable out in front. In second place, Chris Morton. In third place, Michael Lee. And Rudy Mutz of Wimbledon and Holland has dropped out. Engine trouble for Mutz. Disappointment for the Wimbledon fans. But out in front there, it's still Kai near me. A real tussle with uh, Naomi and Morton. Morton going wide. Morton with the red helmet going very wide. Naomi holding on. In third place, Michael Lee. And into this last bend, and it's still Naomi. And it's Naomi who wins. In second place, it's Morton. In third place, it's Lee. So now Morton has five points in two rides, and Lee has four. 
Heat number six. Billy Sanders in red. Larry Ross in blue. Bruce Tenhall in white. And Zenon Peck in yellow. And it's the blue of Larry Ross on the outside. The Wimbledon the New Zealand rider who's in the lead at the moment. Leaving a lot of space on the inside was Zenon Peck to try and make it in. A move. Peck now coming up on the inside on the back straight. But still it's... In blue, Larry Ross of Wimbledon, New Zealand, holding off. He had two points before this ride. Still Larry Ross. On the inside, with a striped helmet, Zenon Fleck. On the outside, Bruce Penhall. And Penhall is now coming up and challenging. Penhall, who won the Master of Speedway title on the continent. Going round on the outside in third place, it's Zenon Fleck. Fourth place, it's Billy Sanders, and look at Penhall come through on the inside. He's easing Larry Ross away. He comes through on the inside. And it was Penhall who snatched it on the final bend. He's first. Second is Peck. Third is Larry Ross. And that's four points now for Bruce Penhall. As we go into heat number seven, in red, Bobby Schwartz. In blue, Scott Autry. White, Dave Jessup. And yellow, Edward Yankards. And Dave Jessup in the white. Again, gating very fast indeed. He's got a maximum of three points from his first ride, so the King's Lynn and England rider looking very, very good. In second place at the moment, Edward Yankards. In red, Bobby Schwartz of Cradley Heath and USA. And Schwartz gone into second place, but Jessup out in front, just as he did in the first heat, leading from the front and looking very, very comfortable. Dave Jessup. Bobby Schwartz, in third place, Jankarts, in fourth place, Scott Autry. And remember that Jessup got three points from his first ride. Having a look around to see who's there. And with one more lap to go, it's still Dave Jessup in front. In second place, it's Bobby Schwartz, and in third place, Edward Jankarts. And there doesn't seem to be any holding Dave Jessup. Jessup gets three points. Schwartz gets two, and Yankarts gets one, so Jessup's got a maximum six points of his two rides. Heat number eight. Red, Hans Nielsen. Blue, Gordon Kennett. White, Bo Peterson. Yellow, Peter Collins. And Bo Peterson, the Dane, riding for Hackney, going around on the outside there, and uh, just ahead of Hans Nielsen, the Dane who rides for Wolverhampton. In third place at the moment, Peter Collins of Bellevue in England, and... Bo Peterson, who's had a win so far in this, this first ride, has three points as he goes into his second ride. Leading very comfortably from Hans Nielsen. Hans Nielsen in second place at the moment, World Pairs champion with Ole Olsen for Denmark. He's lying in second place and they are streaking away from Gordon Kennett of Eastbourne Eagles. So it's the uh, two Danes in first and second place. At the moment, in third place, it's Gordon Kennett. And in third, fourth place, Peter Collins. Collins not having a very good night at all. Bo Peterson, Hackney and Denmark. He takes the flag. He gets three points, so Peterson on a maximum six points so far. In second place, it was Nielsen. And in third place, it was Gordon Kennett. There's the situation after two rides. Dave Jessup and Bo Peterson both have maximum six points. Chris Morton has five points. Michael Lee, Bruce Tenhall and Hans Nielsen have all scored four points. As we uh, come up for the third rides, that's Michael Lee having a look at his reserve bike. And the lineup for heat number nine. In red, Zenon Fleck. In blue, Peter Collins. In white, Michael Lee. And in yellow, Bobby Schwartz. And it's Zenon Fleck going wide, allowing Bobby Schwartz of Cradley Heath and USA to come through on the inside. These two almost wheel to wheel. Zenon Fleck, the Wimbledon rider, and Pole is in the lead at this moment. In second place, it's Schwartz. In third place, it's Peter Collins, and Michael Lee is not showing at the moment. So Zenon Fleck looking very comfortable. Bobby Schwartz in second place. In third place, it's Peter Collins. And still, Michael Lee not looking too happy. 
He's bringing up the rear on the back straight there, and it's Bobby Schwartz looking for a way through. Zenon Tech has gone very wide. Still holding it off with one lap to go, and it's still Zenon Tech out in front. Bobby Schwartz in second place, and in third place it's Peter Collins. Coming into the last bend now, and Zenon Tech looking to have no trouble at all. Tech is going to be the winner. In second place it's Schwartz, in third place it's Collins, and Michael Lee finished fourth. And we saw Michael Lee looking at his bike before that last heat. Michael, were you in any trouble there? Um, well, not really in that race, but the race before me clutched a load of bits at the start line and I just finished the four laps with a slipping clutch, but uh, that time I had to change bikes, I hadn't got the spares with me to get the other one going and uh, I don't think that one's quite as good as my first bike. Do you think it'll stand up for the rest of the meeting? Um, yeah, we'll get, we'll get that one going, but I think it's too late to win it now, but uh, you know, you've got to pick up the next place if you can. This is heat number 10. Red, Bo Peterson, blue, Rudy Boots, white, Scott Autry, yellow, Bruce Tennell. Bruce Tennell on the outside, going very fast indeed. He has got four points from his two previous rides, but the man in red, chasing in there, Bo Peterson of Denmark, has a maximum six points from his two previous rides. So it's, at the moment, Tennell, the American captain, way, way out in front. In second place, Scott Autry. And in third place, it's Bo Peterson. And Scott Autry, in fact, holds the track record for Wimbledon with a time of 58.2. Our fastest time so far was 59.5, and that was by Bo Peterson in heat number eight. But still, it's Bruce Pennell coming up to the yellow flag with one more lap to go. In second place, it's Scott Autry. In third place, it's Bo Peterson. And they're not being challenged. Peterson, the Dane, in second place to the American. And Penhall is going to get three points. Second, Autry, third, Peterson. And Peterson and Penhall both have seven points now. Heat number 12. Red, Chris Morton. Blue, Hans Nielsen. White, Larry Ross. Yellow, Dave Jessup. And Dave Jessup again. Comes from way out from the outside there and takes the lead almost immediately. Jessup's gating has been magnificent. Jessup in first place. In second place, it's Nielsen with a blue helmet. The red helmet is Chris Morton. And bringing up the rear at the moment of the white helmet, Larry Ross of Wimbledon, New Zealand, a member of the 1979 World Team Championship team. But Dave Jessup, once again, he's on a maximum, remember. He's had two rides. He's got six points. This is his third ride. Jessup, number seven. Again, not looking in any trouble at all. Hans Nielsen in second place. He's had two seconds so far. He's got four points. And in third place, at the moment, Chris Morton has had a first and a second for five points as they come into this event. Still Dave Jessup. Not being pressed. Jessup gets another three points. And here's the situation after three rides with Jessup at the top. Ten Hall has seven points, but Peterson has seven. And Morton, Nielsen, Fleck, and Kenneth all on six. It's Pennell. And on the right there, Peter Collins. Only two points from three rides. Dave Jessup, three races, three wins. Not a bad start. No, no, very pleased for that, you know, obviously the first three, well, you've got to win the first three to give any sort of chance, but unfortunately there's no prizes for being the leader at the interval, you know. Well, it's Dave Jessup who's in the first heat after the full heat number 13. He's in red. In blue, it's Bo Peterson. In white, it's Billy Sanders. And on the outside, in yellow, it's Michael Lee. And Michael Lee coming from the outside. In the lead, though, Dave Jessup, who once again has gated absolutely immaculately. There's no doubt about it, Jessup is in superb form. Jessup in first place, Michael Lee in second place. In third place, it's Bo Peterson. And in fourth place, in the white helmet, it's Billy Sanders of Eswich on Australia. But there looks to be no holding Dave Jessup on this particular night. He is looking very, very good. Michael Lee, he's got four points so far. And he's closing slightly on Dave Jessup. But Jessup's going to have a very good time. 
One more left to go, and Dave Jessup, comfortably in the front. In second place is Michael Lee. In third place is Bo Peterson, and Billy Saunders bringing up the rear. Into the final bend, and Dave Jessup picks up another three points. He's on a maximum 12 points now, and must be the favourite. In second place, Lee. In third place, Peterson. Heat number 14, Bruce Pennell in red. Chris Morton in blue, Gordon Kennett in white, and Bobby Schwartz in yellow. And Bruce Tenhall, who has seven points for this particular heat. The only man who at this moment is really challenging, Dave Jessup. And all is in front. Chris Morton. Obi Riders got six points before this heat. Gordon Kennett in the White Home has got six points and Schwartz has scored five but his penalty is going to be looking for a maximum he has to do a good time and he has to win if he's going to stay in with a chance of challenging Jessup no doubt about that and he knows it very wide indeed Penhall one more left to go and Bruce Penhall played the Heath and United States in front in second place, it's Schwartz, the second United States rider. In third place, it's Gordon Kennett. And in fourth place, it's Morton. And it's Pennell, who scores three points for a total of ten. In second place, it's Schwartz. And in third place, it's Gordon Kennett. And that's the situation after four rides with one ride to go. Dave Jessup with 12 points, Bruce Pennell with 10, Bo Peterson and Hans Nielsen with eight. So Bruce Pennell, the only man who can challenge Dave Jessup. And what about Pennell? Not a good start, but going well now. Yeah, I feel uh, pretty comfortable now, actually. Uh, my first ride, uh, no sour grapes or anything. I just uh, didn't know the track that well, but now I feel pretty comfortable, and uh, I, ha I do have a hard race, so hopefully I can come out on top. In your last race, you meet Dave Jessup. That's right. He hasn't dropped any points yet, and he's uh, he's coming out of the start like just a gang of bandits, you know. So. Uh, I've got a pretty good starting position, so hopefully, hopefully I can get to the first corner first and I'll be away. And this is heat number 18, the crunch heat. In red, Kai near me. In blue, Bruce Tenhall. In white, Dave Jessup. And in yellow, Peter Collins. And once again, it's Dave Jessup who came out of that gate so, so fast that Tenhall was left almost standing on the start line. Tremendous gating by Dave Jessup. In second place at the moment is Bruce Penhall, and in third place it's Peter Collins. Hi, near me, the Eastbourne rider from Finland in third place. But Dave Jessup now looking for that Embassy International trophy. He is heading Bruce Penhall with the blue helmet, and in third place Peter Collins with the yellow. with the white helmet. Superb riding on this particular night. One lap to go, and it's still Dave Jessup out in front. Bruce Pennell in second place, Peter Collins in third place. He's on his own, and on this particular night, in a task of his own. And it's Dave Jessup with three points, a maximum 15 points. In second place, it's Pennell. He finishes with 12, and in third place, Peter Collins, who finishes with five points. But Dave Jessup, the winner. With Pennell in second place and Nielsen in third place. So the 20th Infancy International won by Dave Jessup. He wins the Loughborough Trophy.